after three years in Stanford University in California. I started my lab here, the Nanobio-Optics Lab, where we develop microscopy tools and apply them to some of the most challenging imaging applications in biology. We are trying to observe life on the nanoscale in a live system. The Nanobio-Optics Lab is very unique in that it's very, very interdisciplinary. This is because we have to develop the optical methods, we have to develop the signal processing methods, the machine learning methods, and do the biology. And all of this is integrated in the group in order for us to be able to create the state of the art in technology, but also to demonstrate everything that we develop on real biological systems. For example, one problem that many people are interested in is the organization of the genome. Nowadays, you can take your genome and sequence it, and you get a long list of letters. And that tells you something, tells you a lot about um, possible mutations and if you're prone to some diseases. But what it does not tell you is how this long noodle of DNA, which can be two meters in length, inside a few microns of your cell, squeezed. How is it squeezed? How is it arranged? This information is important because some of the regulation mechanisms inside our cells depend on the 3D structure and the whole thing could be a big mess. So we are developing both the hardware and the software tools that enable us specifically to track in three dimensions and in multiple colors at the same time, different point sources in the nanoscale, very precisely. We are collaborating with MIT, with a group in chemistry. We are in contact with people at Stanford, I studied all of my degrees in the Technion, bachelor's degrees and my PhD. I come from a background of electrical engineering and physics and optics. And actually, I didn't know much about biology until I reached Stanford. And that's where I really got exposed to the world of biology and I was fascinated by this world. And I chose to take my knowledge from engineering and apply it to answering the burning questions that I think the most burning questions to nowadays are in biology. It's one man's opinion, but uh, that's what I'm most fascinated by now. <laughs>